Hi, welcome back to Lincoln Lane. A couple of quick updates. I'll be very brief uh, this evening, but I did want to let you know about a couple of uh, things that happened around here that might interest you as Lincoln owners or Lincoln enthusiasts. Um, and I'll let you know I have not ignored your comments and requests. I did see those, and I just I have not gotten around to some of what you've asked for. Uh, the channel is starting to get some attention, so I am looking to very shortly sort of formalize uh, the channel with an intro and an outro and some good footage and even music. So you'll, you'll start to see the channel evolve as time goes on. I am also working on the engine cleanse mix that everyone is interested in. I've got a lot of the imagery built and about a third of the video constructed. I want you to see the... Uh, the before and after footage on that green car uh, and what happened once it was treated, I think you'll find that really interesting. So stay tuned for that. I know I've been saying that for about three months or more, but it's starting to get a little cooler outside. So I am starting to stir a little more and get a little restless and <laughs> start messing with these again. I encourage you guys looking at these. I don't know how many of you have any of these um, vintage Acro mills or similar, uh, little hardware bins, organizers, th these really come in handy. If you're a legacy owner of these cars and you get as excited about parts as I do and wind up harvesting screws and bolts and stuff that you know you're going to need, especially like these, the silvered screws that have very specific applications around the wheel wells and on the interior trim, it's very nice when you can have all this stuff organized and, uh, if you, you know exactly what you need, roughly organized by size, so you can come in here, just grab what you need and, and replace it if it's the head's rusted or whatever. Instead of this, which is <laughs> how I used to live all the time, digging through container after container, trying to find something I needed, hoping I had it. Um, oh, quick update on this. Part of the reason I was zooming in on this car. Some of you may have caught it already. What do you notice that's different about the 83 Cartier here that was different from last time? The wipers have parked down into the cowl where they refused to do or go before. I wound up, uh, I said in a prior video that I had sourced a new old stock wiper governor that was correct for this car, new in the, still in the box. Um, after I had replaced the uh, motor and the relay to no, or with no success, the only thing really left was the governor and I hooked that up and plugged it in and behold, they basically parked immediately and they have been behaving themselves ever since. This is what a wiper governor looks like. And for those of you who are thinking to yourselves, man, I wish he had really done that on video because I'd like to see how that's done. I will be doing this repair again on one of the other cars because I have another one that's bad. I had one that I had harvested and foolishly cut the harness about here. So I had, what I did was take two bad parts basically and form one good one out of the parts that were good out of each. Had a bad anchor point off one of these. This basically mounts underneath the steering wheel on the driver's side, lower dash, the plug, plugs into a part of the harness down there in that same area, and then this lowermost plug plugs into the back of your wiper switch up in the column. So it's quite an easy install, but it's a pretty important little part. Inside this box is a little board with diodes all over it, uh, and I guess those either dry out or go bad or something, but I, this is kind of a quasi-common repair, I guess. Uh, should be the same in a Grand Marquis or a Crown Victoria, so... If you're ever out and about and you're pulling parts, I recommend that you grab that because the people that have them are charging a fortune for them, uh, especially if they're new old stock typically. So grab that if you can, if you think of it and if you have your tools. Uh, one other thing I wanted to address that people have been asking about, the, what's up with the finish on this green 83? Yes, it is looking kind of weathered and shoddy on the top sides. I have really not prioritized this car's uh, exterior. What you're basically seeing there is good factory paint starting to sort of waft back to the surface from underneath a really crappy top coat that was laid over this car at some point in its life. And I can tell you why he did it. He had um, 
there were boxes and things stacked on this car, front and back, on this both sides, because the car was backed in and these sides were facing the walkway for him. But something leaked out onto the paint and destroyed the finish all the way to the metal, so he just had the whole thing painted, and it was a pretty bad job, whoever did it, because actually, as you can see, there's even an iridescent shine still there. There's metallic starting to show through, and even the original stripes are starting to uh, come back to the surface. This is actually a very beautiful color when it's in nice shape. Um, I will wind up probably redoing these stripes, which are just tape. Uh, but when I do this, I want to use an orbital buffer and do it the right way. I'll be taking the grill off. The grill, the headlight rims, all the emblems, the lenses, all of that, so that I can be working just on the flat surface and get as much of that old dingy paint off as possible. Um, but, so that's coming up as soon as I get the orbital buffer, which I don't yet have. That's about all I have for you today. Um, I wanted to give you a couple of quick updates looking ahead. The next car to go or be pulled up here for repairs, all four of these are at least operable and running. Uh, the 80 needs tires pretty bad. As you can see, these are really drying out. Those are will pops for sure. Um, the next one to go or be pulled back is the Mark VI, which I have not really done a whole lot of uh, talk about or work on for quite some time. Just things have been really interesting for the past two or three years, so several of them have had to sit. That car runs fantastically. It's actually been converted to dual exhaust. Uh, it's got quite a nice sort of subdued rumble to it. I miss driving this car very badly. It's actually the same color as the green 83, and it has the exact same green velour uh, pillow top interior. So obviously with the Mark VI, the main difference is these upper windows being ovals uh, as opposed to the uh, vertical style. So, And then we're gonna work toward the, the blue 85, pulling it back here. I really miss that one. That is an incredibly, incredible running car. I pulled that one out of some guy's backyard that had laid it back there to rot and ruin. And I believe the fuel pump croaked on me one afternoon when I was on a very busy drag, which was really kind of scary. I was able to get it pulled over and drift into a parking space just in time for it to uh, fizzle out. And it's been parked there for quite a while, too long. So I'm trying to get them all back to life, hopefully before winter so that I can at least get them back up toward the front here and I can start working on them, giving them all everything they need, their little stuff, and what they want most is movement. So stay tuned, there's a lot more to come. Uh, I am trying to start doing as much of these repairs myself as I possibly can because I learn every time I do that and it's exciting. Uh, I have not done a fuel pump yet. I want to because I've mastered the heater core repair, and I, I feel like if I can do a heater core and a fuel pump, those are two of the most critical and expensive repairs that would send the car into the shop and cost me a fortune. So uh, I'm going to try to capture as much of this on camera as I can to help you um, and tell you what the tools you need and whatnot. So anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for to everyone who's really starting to create interest in this, this uh, channel of mine. It's starting to get already close to 130 subscribers, which I know is dropping the bucket compared to what some people have, but I'm still pretty baffled by that. This is just me in my little garage and my old 80s ladies Lincolns here. So, but folks are really, I'm baffled by how the attention that <laughs> my midnight jazz video got where, where I'm just driving through the suburbs in this 83 Lincoln. People have absolutely loved that video. It's got in, insane views. But uh, I guess you never know what people are going to crave or love. So anyway, thanks a lot. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Like, subscribe, share the channel if you feel like it. And we'll see you next time.